extremely proud. Insane idea. 30,000 flip-flops. Yep. Wow, what is this? This is actually a boat completely made out of recycled plastic. And I'm gonna meet the person who did this. Hi, I'm the project leader for the Flip Floppy project. Um, essentially, we built the world's first recycled plastic sailing dhow. Nobody had ever done this before. Nobody, ever. It took us about two and a half to three years to complete it, um, as there was no answers on Google, essentially. This boat is actually floating, and you can use it, and you can sail on it, right? Entirely. She sailed 500 kilometers just one way. That's amazing. That's incredible. And she sails very, very well. <laughs> Some facts about the boat. What do we know? That she weighs about seven tons now, but she was made with about 10 tons of recycled plastic. A lot of 10 tons of recycled plastic. What you guys found on the beaches, right? A lot of it was on the beaches. A lot of it was from towns that are near the coastline of Kenya. Um, we had to sort it and, uh, and choose which plastics work for the best parts of the boat, of course. This is amazing. Look at that. This is so soft and this is so solid. You know, like it feels I can trust it. I could sail with this, I think. Basically, a part like this, we crushed a lot of plastic. You can even see parts of original plastic that are still in it, yeah? And then we melted the plastic down into a mold, um, which, which would then take the... It would dry into that part of the boat that we were looking for. So you've got the keel at the bottom, you've got ribs underneath here, and then you've got a lot of planks as well. And then on top of that, we've covered it in these flip-flops. All these flip-flops have been picked from the beaches of, of the Kenyan coastline and makes it beautiful. It is indeed beautiful. It's so colorful. That all sounds so cool, but what are you actually aiming for? I mean, ultimately what we're doing here is showing that single-use plastic does not make any sense. If you can build a boat that is seaworthy and sail across the East African co coastline, it just shows you just how precious a material it is. It makes absolutely no sense to th use it once and throw it away. The ultimate vision, and we all know it now, is there's only that we have to end single-use plastic. There's no other option. No other option. Right. <laughs> I agree. What did you do um, on the way while sailing? During the expedition, we stopped off at a lot of towns along the Kenyan coastline where we worked with local organizations that were already campaigning against single-use plastic, had recycling projects, and we organized different events. There was a lot of media attention because everyone loves the boat. So that was also a way to highlight all the positive work of different smaller organizations. But this is just the beginning, right? This is indeed just the beginning. We always started out to want to build a boat twice this size. Um, which will be 20 meters long and probably weigh about 45 tons. <laughs> 20 meter and 45 tons. 45 tons of plastic. Solid recycled plastic. And we want to sail it around the world and take this message of an African plastic revolution across the world. And that's what this is all about. And that is amazing and because of this new project you need, you need help right absolutely we're all volunteers and we need contributions from people around the world who want to join the plastic revolution uh, and ultimately end single-use plastic so guys come on help this project this project and go on the website and do something all right <laughs> this project is amazing and we have also a little present for you just a oh, hey, thank you very much. <laughs> bracelet. One of your bracelets yes. made from fishnets. Right, Lovely. exactly. I shall wear this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you. So here you go. Now we have bracelet buddies. Hashtag Plastic, Plastic Revolution. Revolution.